The owls all think I'm feeding them, but I'm not. You're gonna get fed tonight, weather permitting. If it's blowing a hooli, I won't be able to. So I'm gonna go spread your hay for you, the remnants of your ring feeder hay. I don't know if you can see. No, you can't see from here. Our owl box, one of the owl boxes we put up right in the middle. I'll get a closer shot so that you can see um, one of the owl boxes we put up in this huge, great beech tree. So there's one of our owl boxes. Hopefully there'll be residents in it this spring. We're looking from underneath that shelf there. The hole is on the upper side. That shelf is for the fledglings. It's hard to get a good angle so that you can see the hole in the top. Let's see. I'm backing up. There, you can just see the hole in the top. So, um, in the top of that owl box. So hopefully we'll have owls either in this owl box or the other one. The other owl box is on the other side of the farm uh, in an oak tree. So we're just hoping. It's really, really high up there. So hoping that um, we'll have owls this spring. This is one of my nettle patches. And then here are all the sheep thinking I was feeding them. Yeah, you thought I was feeding you. I'm gonna go spread your hay in the ring feeder and then you'll get a new bale tomorrow. Okay, baby ladies and two aunties. How are you here, Feather? You gonna follow me over to clear up the round bale of hay, huh? Yes, you good girl. Yeah. They're following me up to uh, where the last of the round bale of hay is to see if I'm going to give them some more. So it's right sheltered on the edge of this wood. And there's a good bit of hay still here. So what I'm going to do is spread it out along the fence line because the yo lambs can't get in very deeply into the hay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to get you, I'm going to open this up so that you can finish this round bale of hay. So, and there's the great, we're uphill from the great oak tree at the moment. Here's red legs coming up. So that's ear feather. You can see the feather of white going up her ear. There's red legs and little Miss Perfect. For those of you who were following this spring's lambing, you'll know that these three were three of the bottle fed lambs. So there's still lots of eating, but I'm going to make it easier for them with the coming storm.
So the center is the juiciest bit. And that's exactly where all three of them are headed for. Because they can now get it, pawing it open. And I'm going to spread that out a little bit. So that they can eat it. And that means tomorrow I'm going to have to bring them a bale of hay. Because there won't be much more of it left after tonight. And that hopefully, hopefully none of these trees will fall tonight in the storm. So please stay up there. I've got to actually chop that ivy off the top of that tree because that'll make it even easier to fall when the ground is saturated uh, and ivy is up at the top. It helps, it catches the wind like a sail. And when the ground is saturated, that means trees will blow over. It's really sad. It's what happened to that oak tree. That was a massive oak tree right there. Where's my finger? There. That was a massive oak tree, as big as this one. And the ground was saturated in the wind caught it and blew it over. But it didn't have ivy on it. But this clump of ivy up at the top will act like a sail, could act like a sail. So at some stage I'm gonna have to take that ivy off that tree. So the remnants of that round bale of hay is well scattered for these three and the rest of the yo lambs to eat. You can see the dogs are up in our woods, a bit of our woods. Come on, girls! Out of girls! Come on! Yeah, there's food up here! They've got lovely wind protection up there. The wind is coming from the north, which is that direction. So they've got all those trees to break the wind where they're feeding right now. <laughs> 